You don't see a lot of chairs on this channel, and that's because a lot of the people who message about chairs want to sell racing chairs or gaming chairs or, you know, these chairs that are shaped in ways that belong in cars that are going way too fast. And I don't need to be held in place by some ridiculously uncomfortable chair. I mean, I do kind of jump around when I'm playing Quake and Doom and a lot of the boomer shooters, but I'm not in danger of flying out of my chair. So I don't need this racing chair. They may look cool, but for me, nothing beats an office chair. And that's also because I do have a bad back. I was hit by a car a long time ago, and we don't need to talk about that. It makes it diff difficult for me to play basketball and stuff. So I've always had to have a nice, expensive office chair to make sure that I have the proper support. We're going to take a look at the Habata E3 ergonomic office chair. One of the main reasons is that Habata was established. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of their story here. They wrote me a thing. They were established in 2008 as a professional health home brand, and their main products are these ergonomic office chairs. You're going to hear some words in this video like cervical spine support and thoracic spine support and lumbar support. So what they sent over was the Habata E3 ergonomic office chair, and I gave it a good try and found that it's really supportive. But I also, there's something key that I like about this. It keeps you pert and alert. This is not a lazy boy. You know, sometimes with the softer chairs, you tend to like sink into them a bit too much, and maybe you're sinking in the wrong direction, or maybe you're slouching, or maybe it's not giving you the right kind of support. Your, your spine may be curving, or you may just be slouching ouching, maybe arching your shoulders. And so that's where Habata has created like their own thing they call the T-shaped support system. So what I'm going to do is talk first about the build on this, talk about putting it together, and then we're going to go through all the adjustments. I think you're going to be like a little bit surprised because even a day later I was fine. Oh, like, oh, this also adjusts? I'm finding new things that adjust that I didn't even know adjusted. And before we get into all that, I want you to like, let me know in the comments what kind of chair you have, how it makes you feel, how your back does, because we're sitting in these things all day. I mean, we're always here at our computers, you know, hopefully we get up and go do something else for a little while, walk, cook, do something. But if you're in your computer all day, you need to make sure that you have the right support for your back. So if you've got something from a big box store and your, you know, your butt bone's always hurting and your back's always like a little stiff and you're wondering why, well, it's like, I don't know, are you sitting on like a $30 chair with a cheap cushion and it's just not doing any good and you're sitting like this all day? Is that what's going on? Did you go to the fancy Swedish store and get something a little better, but still... You know, it's just, it looks nice and all that, but it doesn't have the proper lumbar support. Is that what you got? I think it's important to talk about these things. Y'all ain't getting any younger and your spine ain't going to be happy if you're just sitting there in your hard metal chair with the cheap cushion on top of it. So do yourself right. So one of the things I noticed when I was taking the piece out of the box was this thing is substantial and high quality. Like the pieces are solid. Like we got metal, metal alloy and hard plastics plus the mesh for the seats and the backrest and everything. So it was pretty easy to put together actually and easy to follow the instructions. And you put the base together first just with some, some screws and some Allen wrenches and then you put the wheels on. Now here's what I did. I don't have any video of this because it was a little bit difficult to videotape myself while doing all this but I put the rest of the thing upside down on my couch so that I could turn it around and not have to worry about it because it does get a little bit heavy when you combine the seat and the backrest. It, like I said it's got a lot of metal in this thing and it's heavy duty. It's going to keep you in place but that's going to be good when you're you know looking for something that's going to support you you want something big and heavy and well made putting together the armrest there's like this really cool curved piece of metal that goes around the sides and you put the armrest in it like i said feels substantial and the build took me about 20 to 25 minutes probably a little longer because i'm running around with a camera here and there so without the camera it might take you just 20 minutes and if you have someone to help i would say 10 minutes otherwise i recommend leaning it on a couch while you're doing some of the stuff now just as you can see the materials here um, this is high quality mesh. It's not your typical cushion. And I kind of like that. I haven't really tried too many of these chairs like that. And the reason I like that is well, I'm six foot three, weigh 215. It's all muscle, my muscly butt. Sometimes after a while, it's like, oh, my butt bone, I can feel it even through the cushion. But I found with the mesh, you don't get that same sensation because number one, there's no, you know, wood or base plate or metal underneath there. You're just sitting like a, it's like on a hammock, but it's like, you know, it's taut. This is sign language for taut, I guess. It's taut. You do sink into it a little bit, but not too far. It just keeps you supported. It's like the girlfriend you never knew you needed until you had her and you're like, wow, why, why aren't the other ones this supported? And, and, and you don't make my ass sore either, so it's nice. Uh, yes. Also, it's breathable. So if you're worried about getting too warm, you know, you're not going to worry about that. You don't have to deal with the same issues that you have when you're sitting on a really cushiony thing. Just note that this is, again, not a lazy boy. It keeps you pert and alert, gives you the support, but it's not like a super soft couch that you're going to like sink into and be all snuzzly. That's a new word. We'll just go with that. All right, let's talk about their T-shirt support system. They designed it so that it keeps, I guess, the, the three main points, your neck and your shoulders and, and your, your waist, like your lower back. It keeps that in the right spot. And there's a lot of adjustments right there. Now, first off, there's the backrest, and that goes up two 
8.76 inches and I think there's nine different positions that you can adjust this thing. I want to say um, be careful because you know you have to go all the way to the top before you can go back down and if you try to force it it'll you know you can push it too hard it's not very fun I kind of have my hand in the bottom don't put your hand in the bottom and smash it down don't do that just keep your hands on the side go all the way back up to the top and then it'll go back down to the bottom and it'll adjust nicely so it works for people of multiple different heights I started I said I was going to start at the top and for me that is the top because I don't use the neck pillow because I'm always sitting forward in my computer I'm always sitting upright and forward I never lean back I don't think I've leaned back in 15 years people tell me to slow down but I won't anyway if you want the neck rest on there you can put it on there it's two screws and you snap it in and it's the neck rest has 4d biaxial adjustable headrest that's what they call it <laughs> so anyway the, the, we'll, we'll call it the the neck pillow or whatever we'll just call it that yes front to back by 2.2 inches and then it goes up and down by 1.8 inches and then you have 70 degrees of adjustment so you can put that in exactly the spot you want it for your neck i guess i could probably could have adjusted it back and everything but i just i just took it off for myself so sorry about showing you some of the video with it off but that's how i like it and you can do it however you like it however you like it's the right way all right moving down from the backrest there's an area of lumbar support now the lumbar support has eight way adjustment and this can go up and down by 1.6 inches and then get this it can also go back and forward one inch by the way let me stop right now and say the first time i sat down in this i'm like not comfortable that's the idea you sit down and you go okay for me this ain't comfortable because i'm six foot three so i raise the backrest up a little bit move the lumbar support back because i don't like it to be digging into me too much moved it back moved it a little bit down and then you start to do stuff and you start to like be like okay now it's starting to feel like my chair that's the way it's going to go don't expect the first time you sit down in this thing to be magic unless you're the perfect size fit for the way it comes out of the box M remember these things y'all might also know there's a couple wings on the side there and these are cushioned wings and these move by 40 degrees so you can really Really adjust that entire area those things i don't like them touching my sides that much which is fine you just move them back they don't bother you so the headrest and the lumbar support plus the armrests make their t-shaped support system to help reduce your neck lower back and your shoulder pain so the seat also moves forward and back and you've got 1.97 inches of they call it seating depth that's a pretty good word you got seating depth now if you want to recline we got foot rests on this model now you can get model without foot rest but if you want to like recline and read a book well you can go back by 140 degrees adjust everything else and then kick out your foot rests and just hang out read a book do whatever take a nap i don't know you can do all that so you got those adjustments there now let's talk about the arm rests because those also are of course highly adjustable and they're very solid they're also extremely wide which i kind of like because you know that gives you a lot of room to put your arms on them especially you got some big old meaty arms you can put them right on there they're sturdy they're not going anywhere so the up and down on these three inches and then we can do uh, front and back by 1.2 inches and then they can be rotated left and right 70 degrees and then you can even flip them up by 40 degrees now the nice thing about that is you can really just position them exactly where your arms are going to go and that's it they're not like some cushions where you're like mushing into them and stuff they do have you know solid support we'll call it they're, they're kind of firm um, but they're wide and you just position them exactly where you want them for your arms and then there you go let's examine the range of motion for the height so how high can we have this how low can we have this right now we're at the lowest setting so right here this is as low as it goes There we go, and there's the highest setting. Come on, come on around. One dollar, one dollar and twenty-seven cents. Last thing I'll do is I'll go over a few specs on this. Now this is fifty-eight pounds, and the maximum supported weight. That means how much you weigh. The maximum is five hundred and fifty-one pounds. So the frame material, this pretty-looking S shape that you see, uh, and and the really nice curved lines in the back, that is aluminum alloy. So it's going to be lighter weight, but still give you full support. Now when you go online, you can get it in either the color you see here, or you can also get it in black. Well, the main reason that I made this entire video was the fact that this company was a home health company. That was important to me, just because I think a lot of people are sitting in some junk chairs. That's it's really not doing their back any favor. If you don't have something decent to sit in, it's really important. You're there all day. If you're sitting on junk, your back is not going to thank you at all. I mean, seriously, you can spend like some money right now on a chair or, you know, in the future, spend a lot more money, some painkillers and some doctors for your damn scoliosis. So that's kind of how I see it. And I don't want that to be a direct sales pitch just for this video or just for this chair. But I want some of you out there, maybe this will be a good time for you to like wake up and be like, you know what? My back's been killing me. It's not okay to be sitting in these junk chairs anymore. It's time to get rid of them and get a real chair. So that's where I'm going to leave it with this. Thanks to Hobutta for sending over the E3 ergonomic office chair. It's ridiculously adjustable. Let me know what you think right now. And I'm very curious to hear some of your stories about the type of chairs that you're sitting in. 
and how it makes you feel. That's like important. We got to start thinking about those kind of things. So anyway, put all that in the comments and I'll see you there. It came with this really stretchy elastic -y glove that fits my hand. I can palm a basketball, so it'll, and it's also, it looked like it was going to be too small, but no. So this is great for like putting things together. If you want everything to be perfect and smooth and clean, make sure there's no fingerprints on that. There, yes. Oh, you could just do this for hours. Oh, yes. Come over here and feel these contours. Mm-hmm. This is for, uh, this is the you know, British butler test. Yes. Yes, very clean. Excellent. Hold this together. Oh, look right there. We got some, we got some dust. Oh, my God. Vanquish the dust, y'all. That's, uh, my middle name. They used to call me, uh, Vanquish the dust, uh, hail. You notice you don't see a lot of chairs on this channel, and that's because a lot of people who email me.